Oh, would you look at that? Would you just look at that? Hey, what up guys? I'm back. This is going to be a quick update video. I don't have a shitload to tell you, but uh, if you do follow my Instagram and you have followed my Facebook or my Twitter, then you already know. As you can see in the video, I got my fucking dream bike. I'll, uh, I'll throw kind of a, a reveal in here somewhere. Damn bikers. See, I'll throw a reveal in here somewhere. I, I just don't have a really good place of like scenery and shit. I've been trying the last couple days. I'm super stoked about this bike. More like obsessed. I I can't even like maybe maybe I'll do a video sometime in the future just going over all of the features this thing has. There's so many. I could sit here all day and talk about this bike, but so it's the 2016 R1S. Yeah, I did get the the downgraded version, but nonetheless, this thing would smoke Celeste. Ooh, got a badass over here. So anyways, let me give you guys an update of everything that's going on since my last video. Well, actually, it was prior to the last video, but... That one had already been recorded and I wanted to throw it up. I didn't even have Celeste anymore uh, when that video was was actually uploaded. Um, I'm talking about the bubble gun one. So everybody knew I already had a truck. Um, she had uh, pretty high payments and I n neglected to remember that the ex's car was in my name. Okay, and that was that was another, you know, pretty high payment. And she got mad over some stupid stuff and just wanted to kind of screw me over. So she forced me to take the car back. And since Celeste was in her name and I hadn't refinanced yet, she wanted Celeste back. Well, it had a crack in the stator cover. So the gentleman that I am, I ordered a, Jesus Christ, what are you doing? So the gentleman that I am, I ordered a new stator cover, and I don't know if you've ever replaced a stator cover on an R6 before, any of you guys, maybe not even an R6, maybe any of them, but there are Torx bolts holding the stator in place, and those are red Loctited in, so there's like absolutely no way to get those off without cutting them. And so I ended up having to order new bolts. Those took like another freaking week to get in. And then I got some new oil. I replaced everything. I gave her the bike back. Uh, now, I had to sell my truck. I had to pull a loan out to make up the difference, but I did have to sell my truck. I also, uh, I also had to find somebody to take the car. Um, and luckily, one of my family members was able to take over the payments so I'm about to get that thing refinanced out of my name so that's all taken care of anyways you guys all knew that I wanted a 2014 R1 like really bad there's something about that body style was so fucking sexy to me and I think I, I think I talked about this in the last video um, saying that there was only one between Washington State Oregon and California and it happened to be in Washington um, but I went to the I went to the bike dealership. I was telling uh, his name's Nico, a really cool freaking guy that works there. Uh, he sold me the FZ07 um, way back in December of last year, and he knew that I wanted this R1. He had been looking for me, but every time I came in there, I kept looking at the new ones. The body style was kind of kind of different to me at first, but it grew on me eventually, and. I was sitting there staring at this one and he was like, you know, that's only 2,000 more than the 2014. And that thing will do so much more than the 14 will. And I thought about it and it didn't take long. He sold me on it. 
and I was able to get my dream bike. So, yeah, I don't have a vehicle, and it kind of sucks, but, you know, I got a roommate. Uh, I got people around here, so I'm not, I'm not too worried about it. Plus, we don't get... We don't get snow near as bad as like the Midwest. Or maybe some of you guys up in the north. Hmm, I had a Ford probe once. Mine looked a hell of a lot better. So yeah, I, uh, I drove out with that and I was so freaking nervous the first time pulling this off the lot because this bike is not cheap and I really don't want to wreck this one. I mean, I haven't I dropped Celeste one time, and that was right after deployment, coming out of my, I, I mean, you guys have seen my driveway, I'm sure, in one of my last videos, how steep it is, and the road's also steep in front of it, and I didn't know that one of the handlebars had been bent from wrecking it while I was deployed. So I went to take a turn out of the driveway, and it just kind of started to lean over on me, and I couldn't, I couldn't hold on to it, I just kind of let her go. I, I set her down gently, but nonetheless... That's been my only drop so far. Uh, if I had some wood around, I'd fucking knock on it. So I've already, I've already tinted the windscreen. I'm already trying to customize this thing. I'm gonna have to change my colors too. Uh, I know I have some uh, some channel colors. I, I really liked the black and orange, but I just don't see how I'm gonna be able to. <laughs> Whoops. I don't see how I'm gonna be able to incorporate any orange with a gray bike. So unless I revamp the entire color scheme on this thing, but, so I'm probably gonna keep this black and gray look. I kinda like it, it's like this midnight Night Rider look. Besides, it's got the sick LED angry eye lights, so it kinda matches up. I'm just taking a drive out to uh, Illahee State Park. I'm, I'm kinda bored today, I wanted to pump a video out for you guys, give you a little update of what's going on with me. It's really hard to make more than one video a week, you guys, so, I mean, I'm sorry if you want me to pump out, like, a lot more content, but, man, with just coming back from deployment, uh, you know, we're, we're kind of in a yard period, so we're doing a lot of workups, um, we're getting a lot of stuff fixed, so I'm kind of working a lot, and with this whole, you know, separation from my ex, it, it's, it's kind of been tough to get out here and make constant videos for you guys. I'll try to do my best. I wanna, I wanna at least move to two videos a week. Get away from this once a week. I also wanna shout out Six Foot Honda. This guy, man, he didn't have to, but I tagged him in, you know, the please back the fuck up sweatshirt uh, photo that I took. You guys can see it on my Instagram. And he actually posted it and shouted me out. And it helped my channel a little bit. You know, a lot of people, a lot of people commenting, liking, subscribing. It's, it's pretty nice. I'm nowhere near where I want to be right now. Um, I'd like to start doing like Q&A videos and stuff too, uh, but I don't have enough followers for that just yet. Uh, I do appreciate all of you that are following right now. I hope you do enjoy the content. It's not, I don't get near as crazy as a lot of other people. I mean, I'm trying to switch that up. One of my buddies is coming back from uh, vacation and he rides a uh, Jixer 1000 and he's a pretty funny dude. So it should make this, it should make my channel a little, a little more interesting with him around. I'm meeting more people here and there who are coming up, uh, motor vloggers around this area, which is kind of cool. So it should make my channel a little busier. Not the same old, same old every day. I'm trying to find the perfect spot, the perfect spot to do a reveal. I mean, it's not really much of a reveal, you guys, if you're following my social medias, you've already seen the bike, but I want to do this the right way, you know what I mean? I'm really excited for next season too. My ride group has a bunch, bunch of rides going on next season, and uh, unfortunately they're done for this season. The uh, Cascade Loop, the 400 miles around the Cascades was the last ride, and I couldn't make it. I had like two hours of sleep the night before. We had went to the Washington State Fair, and I got a little lit, so I could not go the next morning. Besides, I had to travel across across the water on a ferry and go way up north and they wanted to meet up at uh what was it 7 or 8 a.m so i had to get up at like four o'clock in the morning no way it's not gonna happen nope but hopefully they do some rides near me we do have one planned to go all the way to california so that should be interesting this is a nice little area through here i like it oh yeah 
like I was saying earlier, sorry, I lost track of what I was saying. Uh, I already tinted the windscreen. I have already a fender eliminator kit on the way. Uh, I decided to keep the rear turn signals and not do an incorporated one just because this bike is too new. There's not a lot of uh, there's not a lot of parts to choose from out there right now, and when you do find them, they're super expensive. And I did find a tail light that was incorporated with turn signals, but it was really, really ugly. And the tail light I have now is super mean looking. So, uh, so I got smaller pods. Um, they fit up underneath the tail, and they're less annoying looking than the giant side ones that stick way out I also had to get a a tank protector what I like to call the tuxedo by my crotch um, and since I named her Selena by the way uh, I decided to get a customized one and I'll show it to you guys when I get it so I won't ruin the surprise but this one's just temporary I got a lot of stuff coming for this bike. It just, it's all expensive, so I gotta wait a little while. Sorry, it's super sharp through here. And it's wet and full of leaves. Ooh, no fucking way. Oh, would you look at that? Would you just look at that? What's up, dude? What's up, bro? Alright, peace. He looks mad. I'm just being a dickhead. Oh, would you look at that? This is the perfect reveal spot. Could this get any prettier? <laughs> 